There are a number of different ways you can export within Taluna Analytics. When you click on the Save button, you see you have the ability to export raw data in both SPSS, Excel, you can also export your entire report within Excel or PowerPoint, and you also have the ability to create your own customized report export list, picking and choosing certain questions within certain formats and exporting them into either Excel or into PowerPoint. When you select which file you want to export, the first thing it will do is ask you for your email address. Once you do that, the system will automatically send you an email containing a link to your file. Here's my SPSS file. When I open that, you can see the system automatically generated an SPSS file format for me containing both my raw data as well as automatically creating my labels and my values within the SPSS file. Now I'm going to export my raw data in Excel format. When I do that, again the system asks me to enter in my email address. I have my link that was created for my data and it exports four different files for me. The first is my raw data within a CSV format. We also have our raw data for our open-ended questions. We also have definition files for both our closed and open ends. You can see here in my example, I have my layout file for my closed ends. And then I also have my layout file for my open ends. When I want to export my entire results, I can export them in either Excel or PowerPoint. When I do so, before that you can see that I have 15 questions that are automatically going to be created and exported in my Excel or my PowerPoint file. When I do so for my Excel, you can see that automatically I have a number of different tabs that have been created in my ex export. All tables will give me every question in my survey sequentially from top to bottom in regular table format. I also have every question automatically created on its own tab. Here you can see I have country with both a chart and a table. I have the same thing for my weeks, for my gender, for my age, and so on for every question in my survey. The same thing applies for my PowerPoint export. When I export my PowerPoint, every question in my survey will be exported into the file. As I scroll through, you can see all my results. When a chart is created within PowerPoint, it is a true PowerPoint embedded object. It is not an image. This means that I have the ability to change my charts once they've been exported into PowerPoint. In my example, I'm going to change it from a pie chart to a bar chart very easily within PowerPoint. As I scroll through, you can see that all of my charts have been exported as well I also have my results in table format. As I'm working through the results of my report I might want to decide to start to create the foundations of a presentation for certain key questions within my report. This is where the export list comes in. We can export in both Excel or PowerPoint and I'm, as I'm viewing results, I can decide to add a certain question to an export list. 
you can now see once I've added this question to my export list, it gets added at the top right within my list. I now have four different slides within my export list. I can then decide to export those four questions. Here I'm going to export them into PowerPoint format. And once I do that, you can see again, I have my PowerPoint presentation, but this time only containing those four questions. And again, I can scroll through them to see my results with both table format and chart format for all questions, all four questions that I decided to export within my survey.